Good morning guys. Welcome to Holland's Allotment. Today's Saturday the 30th of January 2021. Hope everybody's staying safe, being practical and keeping themselves out of harm's way as usual. I was doing a bit of analytics on YouTube last night and uh, looking at how many times the videos are watched, by whom, the age groups, etc, etc. And the pigeon video that I'd done um, where he actually showed you the rare colours as I was transferring them from the lofts into the breeding section ready for breeding um, the third week in February which is only three weeks away guys I'll be starting to pair the birds up so if you're coming along for the pigeon videos stay tuned because I will be pairing those birds up uh, in three weeks and we'll show you the females that we're going to be selecting to go with those birds and how we pair the birds up but an interesting note was that video already has had over a thousand views. Now I only have 200 and I think it's 33 subscribers as I checked this morning. Um, so it's quite clear that 80% of people who are watching the videos aren't subscribing. It has got 40 likes, so that's good. But if people are watching the videos and they're gaining something from it, even if it's only entertainment value, guys, I really would appreciate at least a like. Um, or even a dislike if, if you don't like it. <laughs> it's still interaction in some way, guys. It's just a way of saying a thank you, really, to the people who create the videos for your entertainment. And I really would appreciate that. If it's your first time here, think about it in that subscribe button, then the little bell icon on the right, Select all, and every time I put up a new video, you'll be alerted. It's a mixed channel where we do gardening, projects, and keep rare coloured racing pigeons. Now, some people will only come along for the racing pigeons, some people will only come along for the gardening side. Uh, and I fully appreciate that. But at least if you subscribe, you'll get the alert, you'll know what the content is, and then you can decide whether to watch or not, guys. Right, um, that's me tooting for business all over and with. Today I've came up and it's absolutely freezing. As you can see, I'm all wrapped up in the old rags again. Um, I really do want to try and get a start on that fence over in the grown area and starting to get the uh, barionetting on there before those brambles start to grow again this season. It's blown an absolute hooligan and the wind will be against me whilst I'm trying to do this but I'm going to give it my best shot at least while it's dry. So yes it's blown a gale and it's freezing cold but at least it's dry at the moment. So I'm going to make a start on that guys right after I've had this cup of coffee. As always thanks for all the likes, comments and subscriptions so far. Stay tuned and I'll see you later. Right guys, finally we're making a start. Sorry if it's too uh, windy, I'm trying to shield um, the phone from the uh, wind. So we've got the barionet out now guys. And what we've done is we've got two lats, the right length between the span of the uh, fence. And we've stapled right along the edge, top and bottom. And then what we'll do is we'll roll this a couple of turns round the top to start with and get that screwed up then we'll pull down on the net and a couple of turns on the bottom one to get the tension against the fence guys and uh, well just wait and see how it goes I suppose guys I'll see you later right guys I'm trying to shield you from the wind it's absolutely freezing we haven't doesn't look like we've got a lot done but it, it's a step closer I suppose so as you can see We've got two lengths put up there and all screwed in and screwed to the actual fence on the bottom. Now what you'll see here is I've started doing the strawberry bed and I've started raising this up just with the timber that I had basically. Although that's been in a number of years, it's actually still fairly solid believe it or not. And I decided I would sacrifice this bed here because, well let me show you at this end. As you can see, we had the tiniest little gap here to walk through. And what I'm going to do is basically give myself this space back and we'll wood chip this, guys. 
We've still got the prints to take out and pot on. I'm going to do away with the rhododendron at the end there. Um, and then we'll shovel this compost up into that bed over there when we get this finished. So what I've decided I'll do is I've dro drove some new posts in here because the other ones were pretty decayed. So I've put some new posts in. Still got a couple to, one, uh, couple to go in the back here. And then we can uh, get the other boards off there, off the ends and build that up. Now these are just going to be sacrificial boards. I'm going to face this off with decking boards, guys, at a later date. But basically I just need to make a start on this because I can't. I want to get this done um, and the bed finished, at least with the old carcass and the sacrificial wood, so that I can get the compost in and get these plants out that I'm going to transplant and crack on. But then, so I need to get this built because I need to empty these so I can get in behind here to do the next strip. It's absolutely freezing. The wind is blowing this way straight off the east and it's biting cold, it really is. Um, <laughs> as you can hear, I'm sniffling and snottering all over the place again, guys. Um, I'm going for a cup of coffee and a warm-up because I am absolutely freezing. I'll see you later, guys. Right, guys, as you can see, I'm in the shed and I'm trying to warm my hands on the coffee, even with gloves on. It's absolutely Baltic, it really is. That's a really cold wind, that. Whenever the wind comes from the east, it's always a biting cold wind. Always. Without exception. So I'm here, trying to get warmed up a little bit and sheltering from the wind. Um, and trying to warm my hands, basically. I can't feel, I can't feel my fingers. I'm going to have this cup of coffee and I'm going to try and do a little bit more, but I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to do much more, guys, to be perfectly honest, because it's just so cold. Yes, it's stayed dry, thankfully. And at least we've got another step closer. It's little and often, as I say. So if I can get these posts put in and those boats screwed up uh, to those posts from the other bed that we're going to sacrifice, um, I'm, it's certainly not the weather for putting plants on, so the, the the primroses will be taking a back burner until I, uh, <laughs> until at least this easterly wind disappears, guys. Um, my hands are too cold. I, I'm not going to clart on potting plants up just yet. But um, I'm going to have this. Go back over. Probably finish raising that bed up. Put a couple more posts and get the end, end caps on it. And then I'm probably going to wrap it up for the day, guys, because I'm absolutely frost through. And I need some food. Right, guys, if we do get a little bit more done, I'll bring you along. Stay tuned. Right, guys, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I've had enough. I just want to show you what I've got done. So, basically, we've got the bed finished in its infancy. I still, I'm still, i undecided now whether to use decking boards over the top of this or whether to just put tin sheet on and then paint it at some point. The tin sheet will last longer, um, and at least it's got the carcass there now for the screw, uh, tin sheet to screw to. Plus, it'll be one cut. Now, this turned out to be a bad size. It turned out to be nine feet in length, guys, and the reason for that, the wood that we've used is actually pallet wood. And, as you know, it was only four high, even after we robbed that bed down there. So I had a little ratch through my um, salvaged wood and I managed to find another two pieces exactly nine feet long with good ends on it as well and they weren't too rotted. So we came up here, we had a quick ratch in here and we managed to find ourselves two or three lengths but only two of them were exactly the right length. So we, I thought I would just raise it up that extra two boards and that's a nice height for a strawberry bed. So... Um, We've cut some new end pieces on there as well, guys. So we've built the sides up as well. As you can see. And as I say, we might just face it off with tin guy for, for speed. Uh, and saving cost because I have the tin sheet. Doesn't mean, means I don't have to go out and buy new decking boards. Which will only rot in time anyway where the tin sheet won't. And then we can paint the tin sheet. Um, so we've got quite a good depth in here now. As you can see, it's about two, two feet deep, 
Um, obviously, we need to just get those little prims out of there and get some cardboard down, and then we can start pumping this with uh, stuff out of here, guys, and get finished. Right, I'm just going to put all the tools away now, guys, and then we're going to get finished off. All in all, not a bad day's work, I suppose. Yes, it doesn't look like much to some, but to me, that's a good day's work and it's good progress. And of course, we couldn't go any further with the uh, meshing. And it certainly tidies it up, guys. I'm sure you'll agree, it tidies it up. But it'll keep that bramble back at bay as well, uh, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, it's another job job. We've got the strawberry bed built now. And uh, we've got half this back fence done. We just need to go down to the end of there and then start thinking about how we're going to do this. But for now, uh, again, it's production and that's all that matters, guys. I'm going to start putting the tools away. I'll catch you later. Right, guys, we'll give you a final round up in the shade. And as you can see, it's dark and pretty swift. Uh, one thing I have noticed, though, the nights are actually drawing out lighter every night. And uh, yes, there's still a bit of daylight out there, but I've had enough, well and truly. Um, mainly because of the cold. Um, we didn't get a lot, or don't, we don't appear to have got a lot done today. And the reason was because I needed to plan how I was going to do the strawberry bed. Because it was of that odd size. Uh, but as, long, as luck would have it, we uh, managed to find some boards. The ideal length, no. That's always a bonus when you don't need to cut things. Uh, and we managed to get it up to the height that I wanted it to get it up, up to, guys. So I'm not bending my back. Uh, but more importantly, we get a good depth in there. And it just tidies it up no end. And in doing that, we've sacrificed that other bed. So we made another decision there. And I would give myself that little bit of extra space up the side of that bed. Just for walking around the beds. And when I'm lifting the potatoes, etc. So, yeah. We've lost a bed, but we've gained a good one so um, and there is I've also already been toying with the idea of making another strawberry bed or another carrot bed or something like that um, there's a little tiny space between that bed and the compost bins where the Victoria plum tree uh, was put in a bucket we can move that and we can move the end compost bin into that gap and that will free up that back fence to bring another one up a similar size and have that one as a carrot bed um, or another strawberry bed, guys. So we haven't really lost anything. We've just gained a bit more space. Anyways, I am absolutely freezing. My fingers, I can hardly feel them. Uh, all in all, as far as I'm concerned, it was a productive day and we got quite a bit done considering. I've put the kettle back on. I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee and I'm going home for some food and throw myself in a hot bath. <laughs> and then I might be able to feel myself again, guys. Right. Uh, as always, guys, stay safe, be practical, and keep yourselves out of harm's way. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.